to 141. Caleb Bray for West Virginia, 13 and 6 on the campaign. Ian Parker ranked 18th in the country for Iowa State, 15 and 2 on the campaign, 5 and 0 in duels. Ray on Friday was down but competitive against Caleb Brock, and then all of a sudden, with 17 seconds left in the first period, he was on his back, pinned. It's hard to say competitive and then pinned in the first yeah. period. I mean, but, but yeah, see, there was there was some pretty good mix up there, and he he got caught with. Uh, well, he didn't get caught. He ended up with. Uh, in he had double unders, but. Uh, double overs and he tried an inside trip but didn't work and he got inside tripped himself and it was not there was no movement once he hit the mat Parker has reported 11 of his 15 decisions by bonus points six pins five major decisions out of those 15 wins Ray's been good too when he's won two major decisions four tech falls two falls, so eight of his 13 wins by bonus points. <laughs> He's been competing in his own wrestling room with Luke Martin for this 141 position, won it for the weekend. Well, now we're in the opposite, so, you know, that tells me, you know, that, that Coach Flynn believes the two of them are pretty similar, pretty equal, and that they're sometimes six of one, half dozen of them, but he wants to make sure that they're earning their opportunities to be out there. And that was a, Ray tried to turn toward him a little bit when he was trying to block down, and it allowed Parker to go over the top with his head and almost get a cradle, so near side cradle, so Ray decides to bail out, which is the better option at that point in time, and give up the two-point takedown. However, bail out doesn't mean stop wrestling, right? So you're gonna bail out and then you start to move, you start to get out already, even though you've sort of conceded too, but you, you don't really concede that, you keep wrestling in a chain. Parker trying to keep Ray in bounds here, dragging him towards the center. It's just like a tight waist and a sort of near arm tight waist ride. Except being under the arm instead of over the top of it. And uh, Ray has not really done much to. That's the first time he sort of changed angles or made him change over. So being on the bottom is not that much different than being on your feet. If you stand still, if you don't move a whole lot, you, you don't you make it really easy for the other person, right? So here you see Ray tried to block that out, but he put his head down toward his knee and then decided to bail out so he didn't give up a near side cradle and and also potentially end the match in the first period again. That would be that would have been not so great. And able to shake loose here in the first period. He'll take a two nothing deficit to the second period. A minute 19 of riding time in Ian Parker's favor for Iowa State. It'll be Ray on top to begin the second period. Red set, stay still red. And so, so the difference so far, this is the same basic attempt at the ride the same exact way, but what you see is Parker tripod up and, and sort of uh, make it difficult on Ray in order to maintain any kind of pressure on him, and he finds a way to get out. 3-0 three three now with the escape, sorry. Yeah, not the, not the best shot by Ray. He was a little far away and, and angling a little outside. And he didn't turn the corner real tight, which gave Parker an opportunity to, to sort of re-attack that and spin around and score. This is the fourth time out of five matches that Iowa State has gotten an escape and a takedown in, in the second period. Mountaineers have not scored a single point in the second period. It's not a good trend. Minute 45 now of riding time in Ian Parker's favor. 
And again, you start to have that conversation about let him loose, take him down again if you want to go for that major decision. I tried to sort of a side roll to see if he could step over. He didn't quite make it. And then he's going to get cut loose. So there's West Virginia's first point in the second period, but not exactly under ideal circumstances. Oh. Remember when I said sometimes you just got to throw them down? <laughs> Ray back within two at 5-3, but gives uh, up four. Makes it 7-7, seven, seven, right? Get up, Caleb. Take down four point near fall. Uh, arm down. And gave up a reversal. Problem is he's given up about four hours in riding time, so. He's got to, he's really kind of technically got to think of it as being down one. Uh, just a nice, uh, it was a bad shot again by Ray and just sort of dragged by, by Parker and gets himself a two point takedown as he just kind of easily spins around for the takedown. So it was a 2 nothing lead for Parker after the first period and then escape and takedown to make it 5 nothing. Ray got an escape and a takedown to make it 5-3 and then the four point near fall and the reversal tied it at seven. But Parker back in front with the takedown here in the third period. But Ray up to make it 9-8. Still neutral. Still neutral. Uh, Working pretty good to get his head to the side and keeping the weight on, the, on his hip so he doesn't get rolled through and eventually gets himself that two-point takedown. So 11-8, riding time now locked in. 2.33 and counting under a minute here in the third period. <laughs> and I don't think Parker was very concerned with Ray getting out. The question is whether or not he was going to try to keep letting him up and taking him down or not. And now he might just be content to see if he can ride him and, and, and tilt him if he can, turn him. One green escape. There's an escape. Well, and I think that the way that second period went, you'd probably be a little bit leery about letting him loose because Ray was able to come back and tie it temporarily. Yeah, maybe, but you know what? Parker's going to say, look, I was, I was, I've been beating the snot out of him and I, and I, I did, made one mistake, I, I got a little out of position and and he threw me on my back, which was good on his part, but I'm not doing that again. So I'm going to go in and attack the way that I know how to attack, which he's done since then. So with the riding time point, Ian Parker will defeat Caleb Ray 14 to nine. Iowa State now leads 18 to nine. nothing through five matches. So we're heading to the intermission here, Tony, and not a lot of good news for West Virginia, five losses. No, I, you know, I don't know that you would look at any of those matches.